is the number that we have it numbered at this time is article 12 is the church street force main i might add that this is an estimated cost mm -hmm. this is not a final engineering cost this is just an estimate by the engineers same with the following article okay shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of three three million one hundred and one hundred thousand one hundred dollars for the purpose of constructing the necessary upgrades and replacements of two old undersized wastewater force mains between Church Street and the pumping station and the wastewater treatment plant. The first main is made of ductile, a ductile iron and was installed in 1987 and failed early in 2016. It was repaired. The second is a main is made up of asbestos concrete and installed in 1969. It is necessary to have both these force means operating during the summer months to transport the normal sewage flow to the water treatment plant during the six months of the year to prevent a backup of overtopping the sewer system at Hampton Beach. The force means are to be constructed along State Highway 101 from Church Street pumping station to the wastewater treatment plant Therefore, ceasing the use of aged and unacceptable and inaccessible pipes that are located in the marsh. Such sum to be raised in the issuance of municipal bonds and notes for a period not to exceed 30 years under the accordance of the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen and the Town Treasurer to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes to determine the rate of interest thereon in accordance with the Municipal Finance Act. RSA 33, and to authorize the town, the Board of Selectmen to apply for, contract for, and accept and expend any federal, state, or other available funds to the project, towards the project, in accordance with the terms and conditions under which they are received, and to borrow in anticipation from the receipts of such funds and or the issuance of such bonds as notes as provided in the Municipal Finance Act again RSA 33 and to authorize participation in the state revolving fund SRF RSA 486 colon 14 established for the purpose to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply accept and expend such monies as they become available from the federal and state governments and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to implement cost effective solutions are present in the future and deemed necessary to deemed to be in the best interest of the towns of the town that they may result in a lesser amount of expenditure than authorized by the Warren article and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to take any actions necessary to carry out the project in the best interest of the towns. Three-fifths vote required. That's a mouthful. It's a couple of words. Have any questions? I would like to ask um, the, uh, the director uh, now, what do you think the um, estimate is going to be for the wall up at um, Art Centennial? Yes. It'll approach two million. Yeah. I myself see only one of these things that do I feel the board should get behind. I, I, shouldn't we just stick with the? We, we, let's, let's stick. Well, with this. that's how I feel about it, so that's why I will not be voting for this. Okay. All right. I have a question. <laughs> yep. And I, and I guess the importance of this is is what I'm what I'm really would like you to, to describe that is this something that if we don't do it, the state's going to come in and say we have to do it anyways. I mean, what's the probability of, of that happening? No, I, I have to honestly say I don't know. In that, um, they have drafted a administrative order of consent but the third word is the key part the consent um, they have language in there that that basically says that that if you don't fund it they will um, they will fund it or they will no they they will yeah they'll write the check and bill you for it okay right? they, so they will not right. fund it Correct. Right. I want to make let's make that, that perfectly is. clear to people right. yeah <laughs> yeah they'll They'll, they'll pass you the, the bill along. Um, 
and when they consider it an emergency, they don't necessarily choose low bidder, they choose who they can get to do it at the time. Um, so, would they force us to do it, let's say, after March, if we, it doesn't come to, a, to a fruition funding-wise? That remains to be seen. Uh, my, all my indications with the state is they'd like to be a kinder and gentler state, but don't test us, is basically how the conversation has gone. If it may ask another question. Sure. If it fails again, or if we had another leak, would they, the probability of them saying, hey, go fix it again, or the probability of them saying, all right, now change it? Well, two things would, would well, I mean, I'll answer your question first. They would probably then issue an administrative order, and it wouldn't be an AO, wouldn't be with consent. It would just strictly be an administrative order. Because we're already on record of have, having an incident, a release of raw effluent. We're already on record as having, you know, had high fecal counts that went out into the harbor, um, that disrupted clam harvesting. Um, in other words, we've had our due notice. So that the expectation is that not only from the state level, but the federal level, there would be consequences for not having addressed, because part of the law that's cited in the AOC reads, um, you can't knowingly avoid an issue that you know potentially is, is going to contaminate the environment. In other words, if you knew you had a crack in your your gas storage tank or you knew you had a crack in your dam wall, you can't ignore it. We've already had our crack. <coughs> We've fixed it. Replacement is the, the, the action that we need to take. And he's asking him to answer a question that he doesn't know the answer, that he couldn't possibly know. And I'd like to know how many other towns have the state taken that heavy-handed action that you know of? None. Record for three or four. I can't what? Cite. They're on record for three or four, where they've they've cited corporations or contractors or municipalities for once they were aware of it failing to take action. And we've done. We are on record for having taken action, right. and we are on record that we know what to do if it was to happen again. And it's not the worst calamity that it, we know it wouldn't cost that much. Uh, I mean, I think we have to take into consideration, uh, and we are taking them one by one. But we have to look at, are we going to go for that seawall? If we're going to go up on Route 1, there's a lot of different things here. And they do have different uh, values. That is something that is fixed for right now. We could come back. Everyone's talking about infrastructure aid and improvements. Maybe next year, after some of that stuff has been hashed out, it will be a better time. Because things that have to do with sewers and that certainly would be a top priority. I'm not so sure that, even though the schools should be, I'm not so sure they will be, but I bet you the sewers system will be. Well, yeah, uh, I felt that this rose to the level of a special town meeting uh, last year. I think it's late in the game not to have uh, a answers. Uh, I think it's late in the game to be saying what would the state do. I think it's late in the game to be saying what a higher headquarters would do. This is the town of Hampton. There are billions and billions and billions of dollars of property down there. There are people that have their entire life savings. They're not public employees that get pensions from the government. They're people that have their capital at risk. There are banks that loan them money. And if you have high fecal count content down there, nobody cares what the state of New Hampshire says. Nobody cares what Rusty Bridle says. Nobody cares what Chris Jacobs says. Chris lives in Milton. Mark lives in Dover. Jen happens to live in this town. But the business community in this town will be paralyzed because we did not act. Hampton Beach, if it has a fecal issue in the July 4th weekend, will take a decade to recover because we don't do the right thing. This is my opinion. 
this is the most important Warren article on this table. Fire trucks, we can wait. We have mutual aid. There were, there were issues to come up with that. The seawall is a very huge safety issue. We'll get into that tonight. Uh, this is uh, the proximate result of people never investing in infrastructure. When we complied with GASB, it indicated, and we were told it was too expensive. Our finance director did a brilliant job. It cost us how much, Mr. Welch? Zero. Heard for years on this board, when I was a new member, it's going to cost too much money. It's going to cost too much money. When that GASB requirement comes down and it shows $2 million a year in depreciation, add that $2 million onto your operating costs, because that's what that figure represents. That is another expense no less real than payroll, pension costs, et cetera, et cetera. Rick makes good points. Jim makes good points. Mark makes good points. This is the most important uh, issue on uh, the uh, uh, warrant. Uh, I'm an enthusiastic supporter of it. Uh, everybody knows that I felt that it rose to the level of a, uh, um, a uh, special meeting, special town meeting. Uh, it's, it's pennies on the dollar. And if you look at uh, one fecal uh, issue, an effluent issue, if you will, to put it more um, appropriately, uh, you look at two issues. It will never, ever recover. People will move elsewhere for their vacation. They will discover new places, and they won't come back. They just won't come back because they won't trust us. And so I enthusiastically support this. I think uh, we tighten up, and what we hear tonight is an estimate. We tighten up on those, those numbers. We get the answers from the state, and we tell the state we're doing this. The state of New Hampshire doesn't run Hampton. We run Hampton. The state of New Hampshire doesn't run our infrastructure. We run that. We're the Board of Selectmen. We don't answer to anyone else, not the federal government, not the state government. We answer to the people of this town to protect them, to protect business owners and people that pay tens and tens of thousands of dollars and have their whole life, their whole life tied to one summer, 12 weeks. And if we screw it up, shame on us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, Regina, you got anything? Yeah, I would like to, 100% uh, I agree with Phil B, and I think this is the most important warrant article that there is on the town warrant this year. And I would like to ask you guys a question. When we fix the pipe out on the marsh, what was the cost just to get out there and get to the pipe that is buried seven feet under the marsh? Uh, it was, I think it all came in at about 122 out of the 130 that we had set aside when all of a sudden done 122,000. And this is just to get out and look at the pipe. And, and I think what you have to understand is that it was $7,000 in material to fix it. Right. You do the math there, that's, you know, over $100,000 just to get there and, and very fix it. And then again, we don't have any way to ever know whether there's something wrong or maintain it because it costs $120,000 to get out there and look at it. Yes. So I think that the voters just need to be made aware that without these two wastewater pipes that we need both of for our summer season, which the town of Hampton survives on lives on that summer season, that these pipes need to get into a place where our public work department can get down there and get to them in an immediate fashion without having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to do so. So in reality, we also need at least one of them all year long. <clears throat> right. But yeah, and you need them both to be in a place where they're accessible. To be cleaned and maintained in the future. And yes, I believe that there will probably be funding available for this, hopefully sometime in the near future by by our country. And I think that um, the Warren article needs to be shown as how important it is to the voters this March, and hopefully it will get passed. You have my full support for One it. thing maybe you can't answer, but maybe the council or the town manager can. If, if we go forward with this, we can bond this for 30 years or 20 years, whatever it is. If we don't and the pipe fails and the state orders us to fix it or they pay for it and then we have to pay them back, can we bond that that it'll, payment? It'll show up on your tax bill in one lump sum because they will set it at the time the tax rate is set. Now, if they're really nice, <laughs> I hope they are, <laughs> they'll give you the SRF, they'll let you bond it for 30 years and everything will go forward. It just depends. The entire administration down there is changing. There will be a new commissioner of DES. Uh, we have no idea what's going on. I can tell you that according to the AOC, which we haven't signed, um, they have a finite date at which point this is to be committed to action, which is October of 2017. So 
Uh, that's what's in the document. We haven't signed that. We're still talking to them about that. Uh, the town has to vote it. Special town meeting won't work. It's just the way that the state has a, has the system set up that uh, and we actually s put the mechanics together for the special town meeting and uh, it would have taken place one week before the annual town meeting. So it didn't make any sense to do it because it takes that long to get through all those approvals from the state and federal government and everybody else. So the annual town meeting is the only way to do this if you're going to do it. The state's idea is the state's idea. How they're going to accomplish that at the other end, we don't know. They have a myriad of choices to make. We're hoping they make the right choice. So if they order us, uh, and we hope that they give us the SRF funding, and we hope that, that they order the town to float a bond uh, on the state authority, and we go from there. Uh, but they don't have to do that. I could say I was out there when we when they found the uh, the, the pipe. Oh, I yeah. actually walked out on the marsh and, and walked out with them while they were out there doing it. Um, and she's right, $7,000 to actually fix the pipe, 118 or 20000 to get out to that pipe. There's no telling. We can't camera that pipe because it's too long. We can't clean that pipe because it's too long. There's no way of doing that unless you actually physically went out there again and opened up those pipes and went halfway across or did it in two places, a third either side. So there's no common way to do that. And so, yes, we could we could leave it the way it is, and we could all hold our breath, and and it, and it could not happen for four or five years, or it could happen tomorrow. We don't know that with that pipe, and we had no way of telling. Them. So, let's be as Phil said, with with the infrastructure we have down there, and and the the tax base we have down there, and the importance of those two pipes, I think now is the time to do that. Mr. Chairman, you had, you had asked for a comment on my end, and I would just say from a liability point of view, we were extremely lucky to have found this when it happened so that it could be fixed during the off-season and so that no one's business and no one's lives were negatively impacted at the time. Uh, should this occur during a different season, uh, we would not only have costs to repair to face, I am sure we'd be facing a lot of claims for other kinds of damages that I would rather not see us face. And certainly we want to avoid a health concern. We have one of the cleanest beaches in the in the country, one of the top rated beaches, and Mr. Mean is right that that's a tremendous asset to us. And uh, once that's uh, blackened by something that we could have avoided, uh, I think it would be shame on us. So. We need to have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Before you vote, um, yep. I do, after the article was put together and we are at 60% plans, we have got the survey done, the borings done, wetlands analyzed, the, the actual price that I have from Wright Pierce is 3207000 So moved. Motion by Phil, seconded by Jim, Jim to the Article 12 as is it, written. Is it my understanding that we're still on the basis that we're going to try to bid this out before town meeting so we have an actual cost? Yes, yes. we are proceeding. Okay, so that's a tentative figure. So the figure right now is? Accurate but tentative. $3,207,000. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Four, one.